Welcome to 702 Live, coming straight to you from Viva Las Vegas. I'm Brandy Devonti, your host. Tonight we have a very exciting show for you all, with three very special guests from the upcoming film Cast It Away, starring Adam Kepler, Thomas Beaver, Tony James, Dee Gifford Scott, Timothy Carney, Joe Alden, and LaDaisy Kautzman. Our first guest is an up-and-coming actress. She is starring in the role as Samantha May Ball in the new movie Cast It Away, released in the fall of 2017. So I can't help but notice your uh, outfit looks pretty cool, especially those jeans. Thank you. Those are the MJ jeans. MJ and, jeans? Yeah, Michael Jackson right there. <laughs> well, I uh, I had to treat myself after having a few kids, or a few kids, I have a couple kids. <laughs> um, but I had to get something to go along with all of the mom jeans. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. Well, uh, I think our audience would like to know a little bit about you. Where are you from? Well, I am originally from Mandan, North Dakota. Um, and you do need to sound a little bit country when you say it. So Mandan, North Dakota. Um, I grew up in a polka band family, so... Oh, really? Yep, I know it'll really resonate with your audience because you have a large polka following out here, <laughs> but um, um, I grew up playing saxophone and singing and, you know, in band, choir, and drama, and um, I ended up, you know, taking about a seven-year hiatus to get married and have a couple of kids. And oh, so you had a family. I did, I did. I've got a wonderful, supportive husband and a... Uh, three-year-old baby girl and an almost two-year-old little boy and oh, wow. they totally just brighten up life. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. So uh, I heard that you're going to be in a new movie called Cast It Away. Yes, yes, it is. We're filming right here in Las Vegas and um, which is perfect for me because I live here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it is, you know, it's going to be a great comedy and um, I play Samantha Bay Ball who is a wonderful baker, and I'd like to think of myself as that as well. And What's your favorite thing to bake? Oh, anything with chocolate. Anything with chocolate. <laughs> anything with chocolate. <laughs> Caramel bars, coconut bars, anything. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do you have anything else to, like a funny story to tell the audience, maybe? <sighs> All of my stories surround around my kids. Um, around your kids, okay, I, I so guess... you're full-time mommy. Well, I work, I work as well. I work as okay. well. But, um, yeah, they, I mean, they take up a lot of, of life. <laughs> um, but I do have a story. I guess my, my three-year-old little girl, she is um, hilarious. The other day, she, she hit her head, which is about 60% of your life when you're a toddler. And my husband said to her, Annika, did you bonk your forehead? And she goes, no, Dada. I bumped my one head. <laughs> Still learning some of those body parts. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Uh, thank you for coming in. Thank you for having Everybody, me. Everybody, this is Lanasia Caswin. She's going to be playing Samantha May Ball in the new upcoming movie, Cast in the World. Please welcome our second guest, Thomas Bieber. Hey. Nice to meet you, sir. Likewise, thank you. Please have a seat. So, Justin, I mean, uh, Thomas. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Do you get that a lot? Yes, I do. And uh, let, me, let me explain that. Uh, I had the name a lot longer than he has. I think we're, we're talking about the same Bieber family, Bieber, it, Justin, Thomas, Bieber, Bieber. You got to be like his, his uncle or something, you right? You know, I get that a lot. I get that a lot. Actually, I was on an audition a couple years ago. I went to the studio in Hollywood, right? And, and as you go in, there's the, uh, the tourists there, the one to take a look tour of the, of the studio, right? I won't mention the studio name. But as I go in, there's a security guard. And security guard calls out my name, Mr. Beaver, they're waiting for you. Just go down the hall, turn right, stage seven, and all the, all the um, family, they go, oh my God, that's his father. That's his father. <laughs> yeah. no, it's him. It's him, it's, it's him. him. <laughs> so, you know, that's, so I, I have had that, you know, relationship as well, you know, a distant one. Have you ever got anything out of it, like, uh, like a well, seat at a restaurant? Usually because... uh, when my wife calls, like to make a doctor's appointment or dentist, and, and she'll say, how do you spell that? My wife said, just, it's just spelled like Justin put an S at the end. And they know right away. We'll get you in right <laughs> we'll away, sir. Right away. So. Well, that's very cool. Uh, so how is the boat right in? I see you have a captain's well, hat on. The boat is a relationship to Cast It Away, the movie to which uh, Lanage and I are currently in. Oh, okay. So 
Uh, and because I have the hat and the boat, I play the character of uh, the skipper, the captain, rather. Okay, okay. and uh, Peter Gully, which he's kind of this uh, um, gruff kind of irritable, loves to eat type person. <laughs> he gets hired out to, to take these um, rich millionaires out to uh, um, the sea, right? Or to look for an island. So along the way, he's irritable and grumpy. Like my wife says, you're irritable when you come to traffic. And, and when I love to eat, you put it in front of you. put a pizza in front of me. <laughs> hey, don't I'll walk eat it away. up too. I mean, <laughs> don't walk away. We call that hangry when, when the pizza. Oh, you hangry. Yeah. Oh, there's a you, new word you, right you there. You got to see her all in the all green room. Hashtag hangry. <laughs> You gotta see Lanisha in the green room, man. You put it. Hey, this that, isn't about me. Talk not good about pizza. You put her in the green room with pizza, man. There's a fight. Her and I, it's like we're going at it. <laughs> she wins. It's worse with Tom. She, she wins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, can you uh, give us a little bit of think, something sure. about yourself? Well, I originally from New York. I came out to uh, San Diego when I was th uh, three years old. So I've been out in San Diego my entire adult life. And so beach boy, beach basically. boys. You know, the ocean, which plays well with the character that I'm portraying. You know, I love the ocean. There's actually a line in Casted Way where he says, uh, I love the sea, the, the, the breeze of the ocean and the waves coming across my face. So that actually kind of is how I am in, in, in that show. And as far as my credentials as being an actor, I've been in the business since I was eight years old. Oh, wow. Start off as a character called Linus on Your Good Man, Charlie Brown. Everything with oh, the blanket, with the blanket and everything. sucking my thumb. My wife still said I act like a baby, so I haven't really grown out of it. You know? <laughs> so the character from Linus is still still me. He reverts to it back on set. Oh God, yeah, I reverse. <laughs> you, you give me a blanket, and I'm I'm sucking my thumb like a baby. You know, <laughs> so she saw that in the green room too. <laughs> you know, she, she went out to the pizza, and I started. Mm. <laughs> As a mother, my instinct is just to put him down for a nap. So. Well, you know, and of course I say no, and there I go. <laughs> <laughs> There's the irritable side you know, right there. So, uh, and so I, reason why I came up to Las Vegas, of course, is to shoot the film Cast It Away, which is. Uh, uh, what 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 uh, what made you want to get into this production? Well, it's comedy, number it's comedy. one. I've been a comedian or Are a comic you, actor. Is that that's what you? Well, that's my genre comedy? is. That's what I you know. I went to junior theater. All my training uh, in in the theatrical world and, and studios has been in in that genre. I try to do drama, and my wife is my biggest critic. I, I try to do drama. <laughs> I don't know what that's like. But she said you <laughs> suck. <laughs> Stick with comedy. And you'll do fine. Because I walk around and say, I'm a big jokester anyways. I, you know, I can, there's an earthquake happened in San Diego. Oh my God, that's we're rocking and rolling. I make a joke of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, rocking and rolling. Yeah. We shake them up. the, surf the <laughs> concrete <laughs> right there. So, that's kind of uh, us in a nutshell. All right. Well, uh, do you got anything interesting, like another well, interesting story? Well, one little quick, quick story is that when I was in high school, I was in this traveling group and a drama group and, and choir choir so when we go to local tv shows and so forth well i got the scholarship to go my church gave me a scholarship to go to cal Newton university mm -hmm. and to to study acting oh really hollywood i was here i am right well the day before unbeknownst to me i didn't know if it was a scholarship right so i get this uh, um uh i joined the marine corps i joined the marine corps the day before i got the scholarship uh, and really? I go out there, and obviously, you know how the Marines work. You can't have buyer's remorse. <laughs> Signed it. Regretted at the time, but looking back now, I needed discipline to do what I needed to do. I was able to meet my wife, and I'm here with Lanasia doing Cast It Away with uh, a Legacy Lens. So everything worked out perfectly. Well, that's awesome. That's very awesome. Everybody, this is Thomas Beebe. He's going to be playing. Captain Peter Gully on the new movie, Cast It Away. Up next, I'd like to welcome our next guest. He's the star of the Brainiac Professor in Cast It Away, Joe Allgood. Thomas, how are you? Good. Haven't seen you in ages. Good to see you again. Likewise. Oh, well, we ran into each other in the green room, right? We did, yeah, yeah. Fighting right. over the pizza with Lanasia. Yeah, yeah, and Lanasia, she looks well, good in green, I gotta say, don't you think so? Yeah, well, you yeah. know. Anyway, uh, what are you doing around here? Um, same thing you are. 
Just oh. getting interviewed by this uh, gentleman over here. Oh, Dr. hello. Phil Somebody Kelly. else is here. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. I thought we were here for beats and beer. I didn't think you noticed me. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. Uh, who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm Brandon. Oh, Brandon. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, to meet you, you. Joe. Are you, are you the waiter? Can we order now? I really love some food and, and beverage right now. That well, I'm wonderful. your host. You're my host. I'm your host. 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 Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I know. For a minute. <laughs> Ooh, get a little out of here. I'm married, brother. I'm sorry, but uh, I know I'm cute as hell, but you can't have me. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, very eccentric guy. I love him. Uh, can you tell us a little about you yourself? No. No? No. Well, well, okay, maybe not, a little. Not just a little bit? No, 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 no. I, I either go all the way or I don't go at all. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I was born a poor black child in Tennessee, you know, in the bayou country. Okay. And uh, you, you know Tennessee has bayou country. Uh, it doesn't have uh, bayou country. It's, What's it's up in the middle of the you? country. <laughs> it's in the middle of the country. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not in the middle. Uh, you like... know, well, America is all about middles nowadays. I mean, you got you got a middle now. <laughs> anyway, um, sorry, what was the question? Uh, uh, you don't remember you, either. Hell, that's some good vodka they got in the green room, people. I'm telling you. Well, yeah. yeah, what did oh, it all yeah. That's why Lanesha's not even here anymore. Well, yeah. she is, but she's, you know. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, uh, where'd you grow up? Uh, well, uh, there are many people who would say I haven't, but... Uh, I, <laughs> Little Joey? Yeah, yeah, but I, I beg your pardon. I, I, geez, that's it. This interview is over. No, I, I grew up in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Oh, wow. And I was How born was in that? Walnut Creek, California, though. You know, I moved to Santa Fe when I was five. So I've got the thread, uh, you know, of loyalty to California. Because, you know, I love the beach, love the sand, love the California girls. Love the weather. I wish they all could be California girls. Weather. <laughs> Yeah, weather. When you got California girls, what are you doing outside? <laughs> Man busy, got tasks to perform. Anyway, you know, cooking and cleaning and the things women appreciate. Um, what you looking at me like that for? Uh -oh. I'm being honest. Well, I'm uh, serious. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah. Can you believe this guy? <laughs> Can you uh, elaborate on a little bit like What's your background? Do you have any acting experience? Oh, I yes. I have extensive acting experience. It started back in junior high school when my father would catch me sneaking in and I would <laughs> act like I wasn't doing a thing wrong, <laughs> even though I was halfway inside and halfway out the bedroom window going, Dad, hi. <laughs> um, and uh, that began the, the uh, storytelling career I've embarked upon. And... Uh, um, you'd think I'd have wised up, but no, I just kept doing it through high school and college and all that stuff. And eventually it just got to where my dad said, all right, tell me your next story. And that's when I began to stretch out into writing them down. Uh, because, uh, well, before then you didn't About write it writing. Down. Yes, sir. About writing. It down. writing. Well, hang on. Let me, yep. Because if you wrote it down back then, dad had proof. But so you don't want to go. Little, little life advice, son. You don't it. ever give anybody proof if you're doing anything questionable. <laughs> you keep well, it right not, here. not that I ever would. But anyway, go ahead. <laughs> So about writing, yes. I heard that you were actually writing the script for. Uh, I, I I am writing the script. Yes, yes. I. Uh, wow. Uh, and and uh, I'll be playing the part of the. Well, you 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 do me undue credit by saying I'm the brainiac of the story. I'm just the guy who manages to put things together and mix them up in the right pot and have the right puff of smoke come out that fixes the problem. And that's about all that is that really. Yeah. So your character... Although I am uh, close to genius, I'm just too modest to admit it, that's all. <laughs> I, I totally understand. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so your character is named Waldman Edison. Waldman Edison, yes, sir. Uh, uh, Thomas Edison's great-great-great-grandson's uncle's nephew's dog's progeny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Is there any, uh, do you have a funny story to tell us? No, the no, no. The funniest story you have. The fun well, I have a true story. A true story. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't have funny stories. I only tell the truth. I never exaggerate. I never lie. And I am certainly never guilty of puns or, or attempts at humor at all, <laughs> ever. I'm always serious. Which one did you want to hear? Uh, your best one. <laughs> <laughs> My best one. Well, uh, uh, is this PG-13? The movie's supposed this, to be PG-13. Oh, yeah. This is yeah. the movie's PG-13, yes, everybody. Yes. It, it is torture porn, but it's PG-13 torture porn. So that means, you know, the kids are fed Cracker Jack on... Anyway. No, I'm kidding, 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 kidding. It's a joke out there. We torture him and make him do porn. <laughs> yeah. Tom and I are actually the minds behind this project. We have it going on, and, uh, and he is the... 
Okay. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, too. Mrs. Thomas. I'm lying. He has nothing to do with it. Don't no. don't talk to the lawyer. It's all right. <laughs> He's worth staying married to. Believe me, he is. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> okay. What was the question? So, <laughs> I love asking him that. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Cough it up. It'll be all right. <laughs> so. so, what's your uh, best story about? Why did you want to get into this production? The best story about why I wanted to get into this production? Yeah. Uh, well, um, I, was, I was at one of Vegas's more posh hotels. Okay. Yes, I won't mention which one. You know, Bellagio Cosmopolitan. We're talking, you know, uh, you know Steve Wynn uh, has seen it before and might have a thing to do with it, which gives you an idea of the caliber. And, well, I had the penthouse apartment and a pair of binoculars for bird watching, not not for looking down at the pool. But I hap they happened to fall out of my hand, and well, next to the pool uh, there was Lanesha in a bikini and a you know, suntan. And I thought, well, I've got to find out what project she's working on because she needs my help, obviously. And then I uh, found out she was married, so I decided, well, okay, I'll just write the damn thing and be done with it. And, uh, yeah, yeah. But I, I trust I, I trust she has friends. Right, right. Well, well, I could be in a bathing suit if you like, if it makes up for it. Oh, hey, oh, don't get me started there, big boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I, I just had to fight back an R-rated joke, so I, I need another $5,000 added to my contract for restraint, because anyone who knows me knows that's a hell of a thing. <laughs> well, everybody, this is Joe Allgood. He's going to be playing Waldman Edison. Hello! On the new movie... Cast it away. Yes, yes, I am, and he is going to be playing the monkey, and uh, he does a very good job. This is Bobo, Bobo the chimp, and he, he can grow hair at will. We won't bring That's Will out hair. here because the hair actually grows at will and shoots like missiles. <laughs> Sorry. I'm bad, I'll stop now. Can we go to dinner, Daddy? <laughs> okay. It's all right, son. I'm Cough it up. Cough it up, boy. <laughs> Tom and I are gonna go to the bar. You go to you go to Romper Room and uh, we'll, we'll you know. It's called Romper Room for a reason. Yes, yeah, it is. Exactly. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> because it's PG-13. Right. <laughs>